Hi there. Um, today I'm going to show you how to backtest um, one of our newest releases of the Neptune trading robots. So the whole idea behind it is um, you've purchased a product or you're trialing it and this video is going to help to show you how to load up your parameter settings and run a backtest just to show that you can get the same results as us. Okay. Um, what I'll do in another video later on, I'll show you how to optimize it. We do have old videos, but we're going to update the videos now because this is for version 2.5 of the Neptune trading system for the Ctrader trading platform. Okay, so the first thing that will happen is you'll open up Ctrader, similar to this. You need to go to the Ctrader Automate window, bottom left. You can see it here. Now, the whole idea is that the Ctrader Automate window is really where you want to be running your automated trading systems, and it allows you to manage your settings a lot easier than from the trade window at the top. So I'm going to find one of the Neptune robots now, which is the Euro dollar. Okay, so this is it here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a Cbot instance. Now, at the moment, you don't have a Cbot there. There's nothing there. You need to open up an instance, and you can open up multiple instances. To do that, you just right-click your mouse here, and it will actually open it. The whole idea of open up instances is you have one robot, and you have like you can have as many as you want, as, as, long, as much as your uh, PC will allow. Um, say 10 or 20 Cbot instances, which means you can have different symbols or the same symbols. So if I open up another one now, you'll see you'll have two. Now, the whole idea of the Neptune trading system is you're only really going to have one running because you're only going to have one per symbol. It has to be the same currency, so Euro USD. Um, you might see the source code on the right here now, but when you purchase the robot or when you use it, we do not provide source code. It's hidden from you because it's obviously copyrighted. Okay, the parameter settings I'm going to explain in a different video. Today I'm just going to show you how to run the backtest. Now a backtest is pretty much um, a historical test of data just to show what would have happened if you would have run this robot over the last year, for example, which we're going to show you. So I'm going to actually jump back to the product page for this uh, robot now, which is the EuroUSD. And I'm going to scroll down. Now if you scroll down here, it's got more information explaining more about it. Here it's got 73% uh, balance increase over one year of historical data. The dates that were used were 15th of the 3rd for the 15th of the 3rd. So we've optimized settings for historical data between the, those two dates to produce these results. So I'm going to go back and use the same date. So I click on the back test tab up there for running your back tests. So again, if you want to find out more about back tests, I think we've got some more links on the product page. And I'm going to drag this all the way to March 2021, same date, the 15th. And then here to the 15th, 2022. Okay, so now I've got the right date range. I need to now update the, the um, backtest settings. Now to do that, the little gear icon there, click on that. You'll see here you've got some backtest settings. Now we want to use the same starting capital, 1000. The commission was 35. And we've got one minute bar um, per server for the server. What I'm going to quickly show you is go back to the product page. Now on here, we've got tick data, okay? Now, the whole idea behind tick data is it means that every time your trade opens or closes, it uses the spread that was available at, available at that time. Now, the spread is obviously how much um, your, your broker gets for, you know, as a bit of commission or whatever for, get, for opening the trade for you. So the spread is actually built into the price data. So that's about as accurate as you're going to get for historical data. But on the other side of that, if I jump back here for something like um, Euro USD and some of the other major currency symbols, the spread is so low that there's not much of a difference between one minute bar server and, and uh, tick data. Now one minute bar server means you can specify the spread you want to use. In this case, I can say zero spread, which is, you know, it's about as low as you can get. So you'll find there's not a huge difference between the two. And the reason I'm going to do this um, demonstration now in one minute bar is mostly because tick data takes a long time to load the data and it takes a long time to run. I want to do a quick example for you, so I'm going to leave it at one minute bar, but you can do this. I would run it at one minute bar, and when you're happy with it, you can then run it at tick data just to, just to confirm. So I'm going to do now the same as that. Okay, I'm going to leave it at 0, 0.0 whatever. I'm going to put 0 0.1. You might find it's a bit tricky there when it does that. I'm just going to do 0 0.1. Oh, is it 0.1 anyway? Okay, so that's it. I've got everything there to run the back test now. So I just click the little start icon or button top right. That's going to run. And you don't see anything happening at the bottom. And the whole idea of that is you have to open that window down there. Now to do it, you actually have to go to your mouse up here or you can do control W and you do trade watch bottom and then it shows the bottom window. I'm going to run that back test again and drag this up and you'll see the back test is running and it's drawing the trades onto the chart. And the gray area is a drawdown, which is how much your money is at risk. The yellow line is actually your net profit. 
Okay, it's finished now with 15%. And the reason behind that is I'm not using, I haven't loaded in the settings yet. So that's one thing I didn't show you. When you download these CBOTs, what you'll get is a two example settings file and the CBOT. So I'm going to quickly show you where the settings file are. I right click on the CBOT instance, I click load parameters. Now what you'll do when you download the zip file with the CBOT, you'll have these two settings files and you'll do the same as what I just showed you there to load the settings. And you'll scroll down here or you'll find the one that you've got. We just had the 15% one. If I click 73%, click open. Now the only difference between the 73% and the 15% is that the fixed lot size or the position size is 0 0.05 instead of 0 0.01. Now we try and keep our risk down or our net profit, sorry, not our net profit, our drawdown down below 5% for all of our ready rate trading robots here. But we feel 5% or below is pretty um, the lowest risk as we can do. Now, if I run this, you'll see the net profit is a lot higher. Okay, so now we've got 77%. If I go to trade statistics, which is here, you'll see that um, the balance drawdown um, that means that what, at some point, your original balance of 1,000, it dropped down below 2.7% lower than your, your account balance. So it means it's a very small amount. So the whole you can also hover your mouse here and it'll tell you what it was, I think, almost. So what I'm trying to say is, um, if you want to find out more about drawdown, actually, so in case I might lose people, why is drawdown important? Click on that link and it will actually explain what drawdown is here actually go into detail about drawdown so it'll explain it drawdown in much more detail than i can tell you but what it's trying to say is that in that trading system um, at some point your balance was 2.71 percent at risk which is tiny and also your equity which is anything above your balance was 3.6 percent at risk now if you were to get 50 percent at risk it means half of your account was at risk at that point if it was balance balance it'd be half of your balance was at risk you're at risk of losing half your balance but 3.6% means you're only at risk of losing 3.6. Um, okay, so there's other details here. There's 61 trades, uh, 59 winning, 52 trades, one in a row, largest winning trades, 32, and losing trades, two. And uh, it goes into more detail here that's explained on the other page. Now, um, I just want to explain one thing about backtesting. Now, the whole idea about backtesting is just to prove that your trading strategy isn't going to blow your account. It could have a, a flaw in the strategy and it will blow your account in you know, very, you know, very short time. The whole idea is to increase the probability that your trading system is actually going to perform well on fresh data. Now, this 77% isn't going to give you 77% in the next year's worth of data. The, uh, the, the, there's a high probability there will be a lot less, but it just increases your chance that you're, you'll have more of a more of a probability of, of actually making some money in the next year. Now, again, this is a semi-automated trading system. You could leave it fully automated, but I never would do that because there's so many market events that are happening out there with news releases and things that are going on, like at the moment, the war and stuff. And this could massively affect the trades that you could have open. So I would have some trading experience or good trading experience. I would manage the trades that are open. I would close them if you see there's a big market event happening or if you see there's something um, in the charts that you've noticed, like a very strong support line. I would manage the trades using your skills and um, I would let this run so it can run automated so you don't have to look at the charts all the time. So do a hybrid between manual trading and automated and you should be okay. The whole downside of that is you may close trades when you shouldn't have really. So experiment with it um, on demo account and just see how you get on, okay? Now I'm going to show you in a separate video later on how to use the parameter settings because this is a new version that's got some new features um, and uh, this video that I'm doing today is just to show people um, how to load in their backtest settings and run their backtest settings. Now, again, if I was to reduce this down to 0.01, which is the lowest settings, you can't get much lower than that. Now, if I was to run this, um, this will actually show you that, see, personally, if I was new to trading and I had a small account size, say very small account size, I would start on the lowest, lowest position size. So it's 15% net profit, but it's got a 0.7% balance drawdown and a 1.12% max equity drawdown. Now, these are very good. If you can compare these with some of the, um, copy trading systems that are out there, but these have been running. Um, they're not back tested. They've actually been running. You'll see it's a lot higher. Okay, so that's the video. I think I've explained everything. Now, what I'm going to do later uh, in another video, I'm going to show you how to optimize. So we got these settings by optimizing the settings. Okay, so we look back at the data going back um, one year and we found the best settings for that data. 
So we're gonna go and show you in another video how to run optimizing, and there'll be a link at the bottom. There's already a video to show you how to optimize using the older version. I think it's a few years old now, but I'll do it again and just show you how to do it on the newer one because there's new parameters now and you'll need to see that. So for this new version, don't look at the old video, wait for the new one to come out and that should help you out. Okay, that's it. That's all I want to show you. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.